Hi, Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how the Elementor Navigator actually works. To actually find the Elementor Navigator, you head straight to the left hand side down here below in the bottom and then you click on the layers icon just like this and it will show up here. The basis of the Elementor Navigator is to get every section put up in a list format and inside every single section, if I can just drag this widget in the middle here, and inside every section, let me say this is the first section. The first section, when I select it, you see automatically it is selected here. It will show all the columns that are inside that section. And right within those columns, it will still break down everything that is inside that column. So in this case, the first column is empty. And if I show you the first column, which is this one here, it is the one that is empty. When I hide the first column, you see that it is hidden. When I bring back the eye, then it shows up again. Now let's go to the middle column. When you look at the middle column, this is the middle column. And the middle column, if I click on the arrow to drop down, it shows whatever is included inside that specific column. For example, there is a title, which is actually a heading. So when I turn off the eye, that heading will disappear. And when I come back here and I turn on the eye, the heading reappears. The same applies for all the other elements. Now, when I click on a specific element here in the navigator, it will activate that specific element for me to easily spot where it is. At the same time, if I have the navigator opened and I click on a specific element it will automatically open up that element in the navigator now let's just take a deeper look to another section for example we want to make some changes on this section but i basically want to move this column so how do we do that we can either simply just move this column by dragging and dropping to the other side or i undo or i can simply just click on this column right here and automatically it will be selected down here in the navigator and I just drag that column to where I want it to go dim inside the intersection okay right here however you can also drag that same column to a very different other section for example to this other section you may simply also right click right within the navigator and duplicate a specific section for example we can add a new section to this section you see we have added that column but if we don't want that column we can simply just come back here and check the column that we added which is the empty column we right click and then delete that column right within the navigator sometimes you may ask yourself why do i have to use a navigator that can access all the elements right within here first it helps you to easily spot elements and section within your wordpress website without having to have a heck ton of hours trying to figure out where those sections are in this case i have so many sections here and then by simply clicking on a specific section it takes me right straight there if i click on this other section it takes me right there and at the same time i can just name specific sections for example I can come over here, I double click and I rename this section, section one. I can do the same for all the other sections. So that way it is easy for me to know which is section one, which is section two. The same I can do for even the columns. I can simply rename the columns to the specific column names that I want them to be or to a specific functionality that that column does. Now, on some occasions, you are unable to access a specific widget. Maybe that widget is overlapped into another. Let me give this section a Z index of 10, for example. And then I come to this other section, I move it up about 100 pixels. Now, when I'm coming from up this other side, and I want to select this section below down here, it will be hard for me to select this section to make the edits. Now, how can I make that edit in case I can't access the section settings? So basically what I have to do is to click on the section itself and automatically here it will be selected. So I come up here and I select that section. 
now you see i can now change make changes to the section settings so i basically just delete negative margins that were put on that section and that is what had made it to overlap into the other section anyway that's how you can play around with the elementor navigator such a powerful idea in case you have any questions let me know in the comment box below i'll be happy to know and hey if this story brought you value please hit the like button leave a comment below and if you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new content when i push it out thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one peace